It's possible to add points to an existing dimension chain. Make sure that the dimension tool is selected in the toolbox. Move the cursor over the previously created dimension chain until it turns to a three-pointed star cursor. Shift-click to select the dimension chain and hold down the controller command keys on the keyboard. Click the points you want to add to the dimension chain one by one. Deselect the dimension chain. Depending on the dimensioned point, you may want to indicate whether the point is measured from the top or the bottom. In our dimension, all markers show top dimensions. Now we change some of the markers to a bottom dimension. While having the dimension tool selected in the toolbox, hold down the shift button and select the dimension markers you want to change one by one. Select the bottom dimension direction on the info box. Modify the elevation dimension markers as presented on the screen. You may add additional level dimensions as well as horizontal dimensions to the section view and to other section views as well. In some cases, you may add a prefix or suffix to the dimension text or simply override it. The reason for this may be that you want to add additional information to the automatically calculated value using custom or automatic text or that you want to completely replace the automatic value with different information. Open the ground floor plan from the project map of the pop-up navigator or from the tab bar. Select the text of the topmost dimension value by shift-clicking it. Please select only the value and not the dimension line. Open its settings dialog by clicking on the corresponding icon in the info box. On the content panel, you can see the measured value, which is the default. Now, click the custom text radio button. An automatic text instantly appears on the line showing measured value. If you keep this text, the value will follow the model changes. You can also delete the value and replace it with something else. Let's add a note to the dimension. Type overall dimension before the measured value. The displayed value area shows the result which will appear on the screen. Change the pen color to red on the settings panel of the dialog. Please note, if you completely override the automatic dimension value, it's recommended to change its text pen color so later on you can easily check the manual values. If you want to restore the original measured values, simply select the measured value radio button in the text settings dialog. Dimensions are fully associative, however, we recommend placing them before putting the documentation together. This way you can avoid losing dimension points because of deleted and remodeled elements or undimensioned structures. In this chapter, you added automatic and manual dimensions to the project using ARCHICAD's dimension tools. This way, floor plans, sections, and elevations are almost ready to be published.